Greetings of peace, dear friends, of gifted pregnancy. Good to see you. I have blessings to you. Welcome to St. Mary's. If you need to perform your ablutions, I invite you to go through this door down the stairs, and you will find facilities there. As now I invite us to begin together as we stand and boldly sing the number 400 with our amazing choir.
from the book of Romans, our new life in Christ. So what are we going to say? Should we continue sinning so grace will multiply? Absolutely not. All of us died to sin. How can we still live in it? Or don't you know that all who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried together with him through baptism into his death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too can walk in newness of life. If we were united together in a death like his, we will also be united together in a resurrection like his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So then, if anyone is in Christ, that person is part of the new creation. The old things have gone away, and look, new things have arrived. All of these new things are from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and who gave us the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, God was reconciling the world to himself through Christ, by not counting people's sins against them. He has trusted us with this message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors who represent Christ. God is negotiating with you through us. We beg you as Christ's representatives, be reconciled to God. The word of the Lord.
Lord Jesus Christ according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a Jewish leader. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could do these medical miraculous signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered, I assure you, unless someone is born anew, it's not possible to see God's kingdom. Nicodemus asked, how is it possible for an adult to be born? It's impossible to enter the mother's womb for a second time and be born, isn't it? Jesus answered, I assure you, unless someone is born of water and the spirit, it's not possible to enter God's kingdom. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. Whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated, dear friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessings, Ellie. Blessings, Gogo. Blessings, Marlene. Blessings, our friends online. It is a treat to see you. And it's a gift to be with you this morning here at St. Mary's, dear friends. If you pray quiet the world for a second. If you really pray, you can quiet the world for a second. If you love, if you really love, you can wilt guns forever. What an invitation from St. John the cross to love. And you'll hear us talk about love in this space quite a bit. But the love we talk about, Isla, is agape love. Love that connects all things through time and space. And my favorite gift of being involved with the baptism of an infant is because it is the infant like Isla that reminds me, that reminds you, you are awesome. I know, Father, you know, the Beatles song probably started in your mind already. Father Mackenzie, say it writing a sermon that no one will hear. You, you are awesome. Have you, have you ever embraced that truly in your life? That you are awesome. And that is the gift of having infant baptisms. And I have the gift of being married and I have three kids and I, I was in the room when they were birthed and when I, I, I held them up, at least in my life, I don't think anybody with all the movies I've seen, nobody holds up a child and goes, you are not lovable. You are not worthy. At least, I have, have you seen that in your life anywhere, friends? Where somebody will hold up a child and go, I mean, I've heard other comments about the child's <laughs> demeanor, perhaps, but no one has said, you are not lovable. What an invitation from Jesus of Nazareth. The book of scripture reminds me what I made for. Nicodemus comes at night. <clears throat> Embarrassed perhaps. A Pharisee. An outsider. And Jesus doesn't dare turn him away. Jesus doesn't judge him. He welcomes him. And he says, I see you. Listen. Journey with me. Be born of the Spirit. Agape love. A love that connects all. And isn't that a gift to be reminded? That's why we use water especially. Even bishops are 70% water. The human body, 70% water, correct? Carbon-based life form. Living in an expanding universe, Isla. It's amazing! Which means, you are awesome. And I give thanks that Isla gets to remind me and you that you are beloved, you are awesome. We are in almost the Mother Earth. And you matter. I dare think that the physicists and scientists have, are onto something when they suggest that 
the, the cosmos has had to have expanded 14 million years just to hold you, just, to, just so that you can be here and drive around on Park Avenue and PCH getting stuck in traffic as you try to get a smoothie <laughs> on a Sunday or whatever you might do in your life. Do you believe that? Do you hear that in your life? That would be the gift of Godparents and parents. Those are the vows we take that you will show I love. This is what love looks like, which is what? Justice in action. This is how you live it out. This is what it looks like when you ask the profound question, what is my pain teaching me? And when I, in my own life, will come to Jesus at night and say, my Lord, help me see. When was the last time you genuinely looked in the mirror and said, you are awesome. I invite you and I challenge you to do that tomorrow morning before your coffee. At least I, I've got a very cool, it was a discount at Macy's and the special machine. Man, with that vanilla little taste of malt that you get at Ralph's, right? The vanilla, oh! And truly, Embrace and think about this gift of baptism through the life of Isla. And consider how Jesus is calling you in your life to embrace your awesomeness and how you live that out through discipleship, reminded through scripture what you are made for. Agape love. To reach out to the neighbor. To put a hand out to those who feel they don't belong. And to celebrate those who have come before us and whose shoulders we stand. Deep persons of faith. Nicodemus. You are us. And it is true. Will you dare to believe it? Now, parents and godparents, I invite you to turn to page 301 of your Book of Common Prayer. The candidate for Holy Baptism will now be presented. Who do you present, family? We present. <laughs> will you be responsible for seeing the child Present is brought up in Christian faith and life. I will. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help Isla to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebelled against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your sin? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey Jesus as your Lord? Please, everyone of the parents and godparents, would you please stand? We will, you who witness these vows, do all in your power to support Ida, Scott, Dana, RJ, and Sarah in their life in Christ? The answer is we will. Try it again. I like that. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. I invite you all to stand as you are able to continue in our bulletin with our baptismal covenant. You believe in God the Father, on page 9. You believe in God the Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? teaching and fellowship and the breaking of the bread and in the prayers. Will you persevere in resisting evil and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people? and respect the dignity of every human being. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of sins, keep us in eternal life by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now we have prayers for Isaac. Please join me in the prayers for Ida and her family. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy, holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world to witness you, your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated, everyone. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Amen. Let us give for our thanks and prayers. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Oh, may the Holy Spirit move in the beginning of creation, through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your Son, Jesus Christ, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit, therefore in joyful obedience your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that those who are pure, are cleansed from sin, and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Yeah. Parents, godparents, come on down. All right. Godparents, this is spot on. I think you can move something so they can take a picture. And you can take as many pictures afterwards as well as you want. Are you ready? Remember that you are called to be God's beloved, and you are awesome. It's amazing. Name this child. Isla, and baptize in the name of the Father and of the 
the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And then we have some anointing of holy oil. <laughs> holy oil we get every holy week on Tuesday. Holy week, all priests get their hands blessed by the bishop. And then the bishop gives us his holy oil to bless everybody in the neighborhood. That's amazing. <laughs> and so with this oil, you are sealed and marked as Christ's own forever. And you get free parking at St. Mary's. <laughs> now, two candles from our Paschal candle, which is the candle that is lit every Easter at our sunrise service to remind us and invite us to be the light in the world. For where the light is, that overshadows the darkness. Dear friends, on page 11, let us welcome Ila the newly baptized. We say together, we receive you into the household of God, and bless the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share in our sin. And so I invite you, friends, by means of applause, to please give thanks for Ayla on her back. So, my dear friends, on this journey of faith, may the peace of God be always with you. I invite you to just greet each other safely in peace. Peace, choir. Peace, peace, good morning. Peace be with you, friends, and blessings to you on your journey, and thank you for tuning in this morning. Strength to you. Wonderful baptism. We welcome Isla in baptism and the family and the godparents. And there's always a gift to be and do a baptism. So blessings to you, and remember your baptismal covenant, respect to the dignity of every human being. Blessings. <laughs> Taking that down, uh, Carol, I believe, is going to take that down to the pantry later this week. 
which means we go to week five, I'm um, sorry, month five, which we start next month. So uh, October will be for pasta and pasta sauce, which again, this is something that's needed by the food pantry to help those in need. So thank you so much for reading the book. Thank you for staying the course with us. We said this was a long-term project, it is. So the fifth month will be this coming month, October. Um, just join me, please, in, in getting this, this item to, these items of food to those in need. Thank you so much. Hey. Hello, St. Mary's family. Okay, so doesn't this look like fun, coming up here and hanging out with them? Wow. It is. It's a lot of fun. We need readers. If anybody would love to read, we have beautiful readers today. We need ushers. Uh, well, Jim, you're going to talk about ushers. Uh, we need servers, that's me. We need some people to help with coffee hour. So now that we're back from COVID, let's all pitch in and, and start doing these ministries again. We had so much fun in all of them, but I'm happy to, to shadow anybody in this ministry up on the altar. I'm happy to shadow anybody in any of these ministries that we support. So on behalf of your vestry, please see me if you're interested in doing anything for the church, because we're all here to serve. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Jim Van Gasbeck. Barbara and I love to tag team on announcements. Uh, we do need ushers, as Leslie mentioned. Uh, we've lost a couple to the choir. I won't comment about that any further. Um, we've lost one to being an LEM here at the front. So we're a little short on ushers. It's not a difficult task. It does require you get in here a little early. You have to stay a little late and lock up the church and things like that. I can teach you how to be an usher in five minutes. It's, it's not onerous. But we do need a few more people to stand up and greet people at the front door and hand out bulletins, take temperatures, get them to sign in, make sure they're wearing their masks, because soon COVID really will be over. And we'll be, I mean, it's great to see this many people at church. I expect we'll be getting a few more people from home coming on into church. And uh, we're just going to need to have two ushers at every service. So again, if you wish to be an usher, give, see me afterwards. Uh, I'm Jim Van Gaspek. Barbara's name, address, uh, email rather, is in the bulletin, so you can contact me that way. So um, just get in touch. And again, it's, it's easy to do. It's just a way to help out your fellow parishioners. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Bob Gunn, the music director, and Jim, I didn't know it was a competition. <laughs> but now that I do know, it's on. Um, just to let you guys know, uh, we are going to restart our Wednesday night rehearsals for the choir. And if you've been weighing whether you should be an usher or sing in the choir, <laughs> It's a lot more fun up here. Uh, Wednesday night, we start at 7 o'clock. Um, please join us if you, uh, if you love to sing, um, if you uh, love just expressing your heart to God and for your church. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much. Sorry, my friends online, I keep moving around. I am Lester, I'm the rector here, and if you are visiting, I invite you to please be sure to introduce yourself to me and tell me what's the top song on your spiritual soundtrack after the service. Birthdays, anniversaries, Thanksgivings, yeah. say no more, come on down. Wow. I love it. It's a birthday tomorrow, isn't that awesome? <laughs> I think that's amazing. Discipleship, her passion for her church, her love for the gospel. Hold her as the apple of your eye and hug her under the shadow of your wings as you envelop her on her birthday with your loving touch, your blessing. All this we ask through Jesus because we know you love it when we pray. Amen. Of course, red velvet. Red what else? Velvet. Now it's a party. 
wherever you are, wherever you find yourself in your journey of faith, you are most welcome to receive this most divine supper. Let us with gladness present the offering and oblation of our life and our labor to the Lord. this most divine supper for all those in need of prayer especially we pray for Gabriel Cruz we pray for Adrian Mimi's husband and all those 
in need of prayer. And we also offer this divine supper in thanksgiving for baptism of Isla and for the flowers given to the glory of God by Tina Tips in thanksgiving of Leslie's birthday. Page 12, dear friends, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and good and a joyful thing always, everywhere, to give thanks to you, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because in Jesus Christ our Lord, you have received us as your sons and daughters, made us citizens of your kingdom, and given us the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. Wondrous are you, Holy One of Blessing. All you create is a sign of hope for our journey. And so as the morning stars sing your praises, we join the heavenly beings in all creation as we shout for joy. <laughs> as a light to the nations you delivered them from bondage and led them to a land of promise of your grace you gave Jesus to be human to share our life to proclaim the coming of your reign and give himself for us a fragrant offering through Jesus Christ our Redeemer you have freed us from sin brought us into your life reconciled us to you and restored us to the glory you intend for us we thank you that on the night before he died for us, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of me, my Lord and my God. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, said the blessing, gave it to his friends and said, drink this all of you, this cup is the new covenant in my blood poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of me my lord oh my god and so remembering all that was done for us the cross the tomb the resurrection and ascension longing for christ's coming in glory and presenting to you these gifts your earth has formed and human hands have made we Acclaim you, O Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Christ Jesus, come in glory. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine that they may be to us the body and blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. Giver of life, draw us together in the body of Christ and in the fullness of time gather us with the blessed Mary all your people into the joy of our eternal true home through Christ and with Christ and in Christ by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit we worship you our God and Creator in voices of unending praise blessed are you now, as our Saviour Christ has taught us in the language of your heart, we are bold to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in the universe, how it be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. 
We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread.
I invite you to stand as you are able, dear friends, as we share in the post-communion prayer on page 14 of your leaflet. Let us pray together. Loving, Loving God, God, we give, we you, give you thanks you for restoring us in your image, image and nourishing us with spiritual food in the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Now send, now send us forth the people for giving you healing that we may proclaim your love to the world and continue in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. Be strong, be of good courage. Stay your course of faith and continue your course with joy. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love now and always. Amen. Amen. And now we sing. Be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings.